Thank you. The weather this winter has forced a lot of local school systems to cancel classes far more often than usual. Now, leaders in those districts are throwing a wrench in students' schedules, in many cases extending the length of the school days or adding more homework. Leaders are doing that because they want to end the school year as close to on time as possible while still meeting the state-required 180 days worth of instructional time. News Channel 15's Randy Spieth looked into the history of that law and joins us now with more. The 180-day requirement is intended to help students, but because of this brutal winter, it's become a real problem for schools. Back in 1987, Jeff Espick from Markle and several other lawmakers proposed a plan to require students to spend 180 days in the classroom. Lawmakers discovered Indiana high school students were simply not spending as much time in the classroom as students in other states. In fact, by the time Indiana students had graduated, they spent less time in the classroom than students in any other state. The law ended up passing, but is still a hot topic today. State Senator Jim Banks of Columbia City, who serves on the Senate Education Committee, says several school superintendents were in Indianapolis today talking about this very issue. It's often a topic of conversation, and one of the one of the aspects of that conversation would be to move toward hours rather than days, and trying to quantify it that way. We want kids in the classroom more, not less, and current policies ensure that through the 180-day rule. Which I, which I believe is appropriate. When it comes to making up snow days, State, State Superintendent Glenda Ritz can grant waivers if she wants. She's already given out two for snow days at the start of January and will grant them for schools extending school days or holding e-learning. In Studio 15, Randy Spieth, News Channel 15.